as a young boy, my favorite story of the Torah uh, was the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. For a very long time, I equated uh, wickedness with uh, sinful pleasure, um, pleasures of the flesh, the ordinary kinds of pleasures that uh, people uh, take part in, the use of alcohol, for example, money. Um, but as I read more, I grew to understand that uh, wickedness meant something quite different. Wickedness in the parable meant the failure to take care of the stranger, the failure to care for the person in need, the person who needed uh, shelter, the person who needed uh, food, the person who needed um, moral uh, guidance. I have always remembered um, the lesson of Sodom and Gomorrah, and I thought especially uh, hard about it when uh, I encountered uh, the word yircha, which is uh, my reflection. Um, yircha means uh, fear, but it also means awe and wonder. And uh, in the lesson of uh, Sodom, uh, obviously um, the, the fear of God uh, is taught in his destruction of the city. Um, it is a lesson to all of us uh, to care for the great human community, uh, to provide shelter and need for those who do not have it at the time that they need it. Um, but it's related very, very closely to the wonder and the awe um, that we feel when we do indeed follow God's injunctions to care for one another. Um, in my personal life here today, I have thought much about Yirha and about Sodom and Gomorrah. When I think about um, Wisconsin, um, when I think about the mothers uh, across our land who are losing um, their children, and I think that we have much to learn from both uh, a study of Yirha uh, and the lessons that the Torah has uh, for us all.